Welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into the fascinating world of supply chain management and specifically the gravity location model optimization. If you are involved in logistic or operation, you know how critical it is to optimize the location of your facilities to minimize transportation cost and streamline your supply chain. In this video, we will explore how the gravity location model can help you achieve just that. So let's get started. The gravity location model is mathematical technique used in supply chain management to determine the optimal location for facilities such as warehouse, distribution center and manufacturing plant. The gravity location model takes into account three main components, the origin point, the destination point and the transportation cost or distance between them. By analyzing these factors, the model can calculate the best location or facility to minimize the transportation cost and improve operational efficiency. Let's take a closer look at how the gravity location model works. Imagine you are a company that need to decide where to locate a new distribution center to serve your customer across multiple locations. The gravity location model considers factors such as the demand from the customer at different locations, the distance or transportation cost between locations and any capacity constraint of your facility. Let's take a real world example and check out the Excel. Hi, welcome to the example of gravity location model. Here we will be talking about a company which has certain supply sources and which has certain markets which it want to serve. Now that company is looking for a factory location which can take supply from the supply sources and dispatch them to the market. In order to formulate the problem, we have these three supply sources and these five markets. The data which we have as of now is that what is the transportation cost per ton mile? It means from Buffalo supply source, it will take 0.9 dollar to move a single ton to a single mile. And what is the demand which is expected from the Buffalo source is 500 tons. And these are the coordinate of the supply source. Uh, you can get these coordinates from any site which is easily available on internet. So as a whole, we have this problem identified that the transportation cost and the quantity in turns and the coordinate of the sources from where supply has to be received and the market which we want to serve. So here the objective is that we want to identify the coordinate of that particular location where we want to set up a factory which can source material from the supply source and can serve to the markets by doing so our objective is that we want to do this with the lowest possible minimum cost so let us start and formulate the problem we are going to solve this problem by the solver capability of excel so let us start with the decision variable which we want to consider in order to reach on the optimal solution so my decision variable would be the location coordinate of that factory which i want to establish so here as you can see we have written down the coordinate for x and y these are the coordination of that facility location you can also see another column in the g by the name of small t n here what we are calculating is the distance from the facility location which we want to obtain so in the column dn we are calculating the distance of our desired location from the sources and the market so what we have to do here we will be using a basic mathematics formula which is this one so here in g5 we wrote this formula which is square root of x minus xn whole square plus y minus yn whole square now the thing which we have to optimize our objective function is to optimize or the minimize the cost in order to fulfill the market demand from the supply sources the formula for the cost is some product of your transportation cost multiplied by quantity and it should be multiplied by the distance from the factory if you can see here the formula of b19 is shown here in other words we can say that the total transportation cost would be the multiply of dn which is quantity in terms the multiply of small dn which is the distance of upcoming factory from the source and the market multiply by capital dn which is quantity in terms multiply by transportation cost and sum of it from all the sources to all the market okay by doing so 
we have formulated our problem. Now we will go to solver and set up the parameter like this. Our objective is B19 cell, which is the total cost and we want to minimize it. And our decision variable are X and Y coordinate. So by changing the value of X and Y, we want to minimize the value of B19, which is this one. Now we will go to solve this problem. After solving from the solver, we can see that we get the location coordinates as 681 and 882. So from looking at this perspective, you will not be able to realize the whole essence of it, how the gravity model taking the center of gravity of all the things, correct? So let us draw this on a chart. So what we will do, we will take all this data and we will insert a scatter plot diagram, okay, which is this one. Great. So you can write here that it is a gravity location model. Okay, so here if you can see, you can see all of these data point like uh, if I see here, this is 700 uh, and 1200, which is the first one, which is Buffalo. This is the source. If you like this, this 225 and 825, which is again a source St. Louis. And this is third one, which is 250, 600, which is again a source Memphis. So the point here is these three are the sources and these five are the market. So now we again got our solution as 681 and 882 as the factory or a facility location. Now we can also see that where this particular location fits in. Let's add this data. We'll go to the select data. Go to the add. Put X as 681 and on the Y you put 882. Okay. Now you got this orange dot. So this is your optimal solution to build facility which can take supply from these three suppliers and it can serve to these five markets in the lowest minimum possible cost. In order to understand this, we can also check. Okay, so let's say this is our Buffalo source and here the transportation cost is almost similar to Memphis and St. Louis. If I update this data and say that the transportation cost is way lower than Memphis and St. Louis and I again rerun the solver, what will happen? This particular orange dot become far from our source location Buffalo and became near to other two source and one of the market location. So what is actually happening here? By reducing the transportation cost, you can leverage on the distance. So let's say if the transportation cost is lower, you can keep your facility away from that location and you can keep your facility more near to the location where the transportation cost is higher. We can create a, another case here in which let's say the cost is again the same which was earlier, it was 0 0.90 but demand to a certain supplier is higher. Okay, because the cost is a sum of your quantity and the transportation cost per mile. So let's say in the Memphis, the demand is 3000, which is 10 times more from the earlier solution. This is our Memphis location. Now let us solve with the solver. Yes, now we can see because the demand is so huge, the optimal solution is suggesting that we should be having the factory at Memphis only because it is taking the whole demand from here and to reduce the transportation cost from Memphis to any location. So this is how you can play with this chart and you can visualize it that as and when you are going to change the numbers here, how it will impact. Let's go to the previous solution. So this is how you can apply the gravity location model in order to identify where your facility should be as per your suppliers and your markets which you want to serve. We will be learning more models in phase 4 and that we will covering in our next video. Till then, like, share and subscribe the channel. Thank you.